Beautiful. Oh man. And you know what I love about that though? You're like, you actually released it. Yeah. But it's so much later. Well, yeah, when, I, when I'm hitting it well, or when I feel like I'm getting ahead of it well, it feels like it's being released back here. And when I'm playing bad, it feels like it's being like dumped. Back here. Back here. And I, that's, yeah. so, that's so big for our viewer, you guys. You think about it, I, I always come back to this. If I have my hands and the elbow in front of me, I can open up, open up. And when I get to my deepest point, that's when it kicks. And that's out here. And I started just visualizing out there. And I remember just swinging there. And it takes me back to when I was a kid. One of my favorite drills, check this one out. This was a drill that my coach had me do back in the day right here. Look at normal ball would be right here for a nine iron. He'd have me hit that ball right there. Jeez. Ready for this? And he'd tell me, dude, I want you to catch ball first and try to hit it low. And the only way I'm doing that and, and man, if Kevin were to slow that one down, which I know you have the ability to do, that's me like this and releasing out there. Yeah. And then what, what, what would I do? I'd move that ball back here with the mindset of it being out there and just that mindset. You know, there's that sound we're all looking for, you know? Yeah. Just okay. compressed. It's easy. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's money. And, here, and, here, and here's what I want you to do. A little, a little even better. I want to flight some of these even lower. One thing I want to do, if I face you guys here, I have that imaginary wall set up right here, okay, in my mind. When I set the club, if I were to turn my left pocket back up against that wall, the hammer is hammering that imaginary nail into the wall. Right. So when I do that though, watch this. It's not just left arm pulling the handle through, which is a great thought for some feel. And, and, and some people need to feel yeah. like they're skipping the rock and the right elbow is moving to the center of their body, okay? Mm -hmm. So when you watch this, boom. That feeling right there is big, okay? So when, when I do that, I'm gonna face you guys here so you can see this. All right, so here I go. I'm gonna set the club. And I'm almost putting more pressure into that head cover, okay? So I set it and it's, you see that right there? Yeah. And look at how my hands extend out away from me right there. The club face is very stable. I want to see you do that. And you hear that sound too? Yeah. But the way that that arm works, right? I always refer to this as skipping the rock. Your elbow goes in front, the club will lag, and then it releases later, okay? And it releases with your body's rotation. So when my left hip gets back to my deepest point, and here, let's, 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 let's phrase that. When my left hip gets back to the deepest point there, that's when the club kicks. And that's where you get some serious speed and compression. So it's set, okay? And that's where you can see my left hip went back at the same time my hands go through. I call it hip and grip. Yeah. So the hip, lead hip, and the grip, boom, into the wall, and there's the release, okay? So here we go. But I don't mind you stopping, setting the club, making sure this is good. For the golfer who uses too much right hand, mm -hmm. I want you finishing like this. Watch how I finish. Watch where the club is through impact. You see how I kept it like an extension of my hands right there? Yeah, and it's like, like the club I didn't, head's right yes. over my hands. When I'm playing really well and I'm able to kind of hit these like knockdown cut shots that kind of like fight them in there a little bit, it feels like like this is just kind of staying right there. <laughs> you know what's there. funny? If you watch me hit a real wedge shot, like watch my finish. This is not like to the front pin that I want to maybe loft one up to, but it says a lot to be able to hold off a finish. I've still, I'm not quitting on this golf shot. Yeah. I'm accelerating through and I'm just holding this an abbreviated finish, which you'll see a lot of the best wedge players in the world do. Yeah. Okay. Now here's what's happening there because the club is trailing the hands and it's connected to your body. You have the ability to hold it off. Now, if the club passes through at the speed that you're swinging at impact, well, this is, this thing's gone and it's all the way to your back, smacking your back right away. Yeah. I want to see much more of a held off finish. That's a great drill for some golfers too. You know, just to hold a golf club right out in front of you here or have someone hold something out like an alignment rod and just finish, boom, right underneath it like that. That's really good for connection through impact and not getting rid of the club. Hold this off, don't let the hands get above shoulder high on the way through. Oh, do you feel that? Yeah. That was completely different. I mean, it still felt like I, I kind of gave it a, a little, little bit. Yeah, but but it still feels like yeah. it's I'm well. That took the like, it took the flight down ten feet too. Yeah. So, what's the sequencing of it coming down? So like once I've completed my turn, 
am I feeling like right away like this wants to go behind me? Well, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a great question. Here's the thing. I, I never like to slow things down in, right. the, in, in the downswing. Right. I don't, I don't like to. I like to patient going back. I like the bow and arrow analogy. You yeah. know, slow, let it build, Sung mm -hmm. JM, Hideki to the top. Yeah. All that's great. But in the downswing, turn and burn. Like, yeah. I'm letting this go, mm -hmm. but I'm also remembering inside horse, yeah. outside horse. If I want to have a photo finish with everything arriving together, uh -huh. If I just rip my hips through and expect this to catch up, it's no not. chance. Right. The hands are moving 28 miles per hour approximately in the downswing for the best players in the world. So with that being said, there needs to be some zip to it. So yes, my left hip is going back and ripping back. I'll, I'll it'd be an example for that in a second. But here's the thing. My arms and hands are going faster on the way through. So in order to do this, you know, I'm not slowing my hips down dropping my hands, letting it all catch up. No, I'm just getting my arms and hands down with some speed as I rotate. Yeah. And you know, that came off perfect right there. And that was really just me thinking, okay, left hip deep and out of the way, but I'm just making sure my arms stay in front of that motion. Right. Okay. So it's almost like if, if my lower body gets working too well and my hands don't get they're fast enough, I'm just yes. gonna kind of blast everything Absolutely. right. Absolutely. So I gotta speed up my hands. Gotta speed up your hands. Easy fix. That was so nice. It drives me crazy when I see somebody come and you know, everybody always sees this yeah. and they go, I need, I need forward shuffling. And I go, y yes, but do you understand with your current swing, that's what you're saving grace to hitting it somewhat on oh, the mat, yeah. right? Yeah. Because here's the thing, if that golfer spends its time going this way, and you have forward shaft lean, <laughs> four right, yeah. see ya. I had a guy out here the other day, an older gentleman who had you know harder time kind of rotating and stuff. And, yeah. and then and, and he's trying to work on his forward shaft lean. He goes, I just keep shanking everything. I go, yeah. John, I said, here's the good news for you, bud. You got forward shaft lean all day, yeah. but, but without rotation, what's gonna move that club around this way to get the club face square to the target? I love this right here. Like watch how I do this guys in sequence, ready? I set the club and I create the angle. I get the handle over the golf ball to where, okay, at this point, I couldn't release it hard enough to where I'd actually lose that club. Now watch, I just rotate to hit that ball down the line. That was a good swing right there. At Porzak Golf, we take a lot of pride in having developed some of the best and most consistent golf swings on the planet. We do this through simplicity. Our full swing masterclass will take you on a step-by-step, -step, easy to understand process on how to get your golf swing better than ever. Join the many before you who've utilized our Full Swing Masterclass to take their games to the next level and beyond.